we are looking at different editing functions that you can use in Microsoft Word. These include find, replace, move, delete, undo, redo, setting the language, and running a spelling and grammar check. The find function allows you to locate a specific piece of text in a document. You'll find this function in the home tab in editing. If you select it, it will bring up a navigation pane on the left hand side of your screen and you can type in the word that you want. There are two little arrows that you can click up and down on to find other instances of that word in your document. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control F to bring up the option. The replace function is found just below the find function. When you select it, it'll bring up a new dialog box which says Find and Replace. You begin by entering the word that you want to find. You then enter the word that you want to replace it with. You have the option of replacing only one instance, replacing every instance of it in the document, or going through one by one In this video, I am just going to show you the replace all function. It will tell you how many times it has replaced that word. Moving refers to changing the location of a selection of text or an image. To do this, you can click on an image and then drag and drop it round. If you're moving text, you can double click on a word or triple click on a word to bring up the paragraph. This will highlight that selection of text. You then click and hold and move that around the page. You will see that your cursor moves with you and where your cursor ends up is where you're going to place that piece of text. You can also use the copy and paste or cut and paste function to move text around. The delete function allows you to erase text or images from your document. You can do this by highlighting a selection of text and then hitting the backspace or the delete key. You can click on an image and then hit the delete or backspace key. You can place your cursor in a section of text and then hit the backspace key to remove all the characters previous or the delete key to remove all the characters in front of the cursor. When you are editing a document, you might make a change that you do not like. Word has an undo function that allows you to undo the action. You can use Control Z on your keyboard to undo, or you can un use the function at the top of the screen. You can undo multiple times. Alternatively, if you have undone something a step too far, you can redo the action by using Control y or the function up the top. Word allows you to change the language of the document that you're working on. You can do this at the bottom of your screen by clicking on the language, or you can go up to the Review tab and find the Language option. If you go set proofing language, you can see all of their options there. Once you have completed typing up a document, you should check your spelling and your grammar. To do this, you can use F7 on your keyboard, a function down at the bottom of your screen, or in the review tab, you can find the editor function. Selecting any of those options will bring up the spell check window. From here, you can go through and fix any issues that have been highlighted in your document. 